Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video tonight. I'm comparing these two waters. First up is Happy Tree Pomegranate Maple Water. Next up is Happy Tree Maple Water Lemon Flavored. So obviously these are from the same company. They're very similar bottles. Uh, you know, same size and shape. Uh, an interesting difference is this one has like a shiny label. Like a, you know, it feels plasticky on the outside. This one has like a paper label kind of thing. It's like more of a matte finish. It's kind of a, you know, interesting difference when it's coming from the same company. So, I've never had this before. I got these from the store Giant Eagle. Uh, these were $2.99 each for a single bottle. And these are like small, small bottles. So that's really expensive for, um, you know, a bottle of water, $2.99. And if you buy a 12-pack on Amazon, I think it's $34 for a 12-pack. So this is, like, not cheap. And so the deal is, it's like, the main ingredient is maple syrup water that drips out of a tree. That's why it's so expensive. It's like, you have to collect it. It's not just, you know, just not just, not just water. This pomegranate one is actually expired. I bought both of these about a month ago. And apparently, this one expired 12 days ago. It's, it says, enjoy by November 16th. And today is the 28th. So that's 12 days later. Um, this one expires in February of next year. So it's kind of weird. I bought these at the same time. And this one expires like three months earlier. But I'm just going to drink it anyway. It's only been 12 days. It should still be fine. Uh, but something I'm a little worried about is I was reading reviews on Amazon of this water, and it has, like, three stars, which is pretty low, like, for, for a water. And a lot of the negative reviews were saying that there was, like, mold and mildew inside the bottles. So that's something I'm a little worried about, and I actually looked inside of it, and there's, like, stuff floating around inside of it. I'm not sure if that's normal or not. You know, we're just going to try it. And those stuff floating around is in the one... That's not expired. So, uh, so let's just open them up, you know, and do a taste test comparison. It'll tell you which one I think tastes better between these two. Um, and these are these are other waters that like, it's debatable whether they're water or not because the pomegranate one has forty-eight calories. The lemon one has thirty-five calories. You know, water should really not have any calories at all. There's actually a, a label inside the lid. Yeah, there's a, there's a lemony... It tastes like pine... It smells like pine salt cleaner, kind of. Or like lemon pledge or something. There's definitely a smell to it. Um, oh, this one, that's weird. This one has a thing inside. This one does not. Isn't that a weird difference? Why would one have it and one doesn't? This one smells like a cough drop, kind of. Okay. So let's just taste them. Hopefully I don't get sick and drink mold. No. It doesn't taste like mold at all. It tastes like, um... It's very acidic -y. Uh and it tastes like lemon. So, I'm actually going to pour it in here. So there was stuff floating around. I wonder if you guys can see it. Let me put like a white background. Can you guys see? There's like stuff floating around in there. Like, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that because it's lemony. Or if that is like a mold or mildew or something. The one guy on Amazon had like a side by side picture, and he's like, This is the one I bought in the store, and it was almost crystal clear water. And he had the, a, a, a cup next to it, and he's like, This is the one from Amazon, it's got all this stuff floating around inside of it. So it makes me think this is not supposed to be like that with stuff floating in it. All right, let's try the pomegranate maple.
I like the maple. I'm not really a big fan of uh, pomegranate, though. There's kind of like a, like a barky aftertaste to this. Um, which is ice, it's nice. I like it. Like a campfire. Uh, this has 3 milligrams of sodium, 48 milligrams of potassium, 12 grams of carbs. This has 55% of your daily magnesium needs that's pretty high and the ingredients are just organic maple water organic pomegranate juice and organic lemon juice Okay, the bottles also say that they help plant trees. They use the money to help plant trees. And the bottle also says that they pay all their workers a living wage. Which is kind of sad that, you know, we live in a world where you have to put that on your bottle. They usually pay your workers a living wage. That's something companies brag about now. It's kind of a sad, um, you know, state of the world, but... I guess it's good that they pay them a living wage, whatever that means. I guess if it was a lot, they would probably put the exact amount that they pay their workers. But on the bottle, they just say a living wage is what they pay their workers. <clears throat> so, it's called Happy Tree Water. When I was searching for it, it's hard to actually find reviews of the water. Because there's a show called Happy Tree Friends. And so whenever I search for this water, that show comes up. Uh, it's like a popular YouTube show. So, people are probably not going to see this video by searching for it because they're just going to see Happy Tree Friends, the show, instead. Yeah, I don't, I don't taste like a mold or mildew. I don't, you know, on the Amazon reviews, they were saying... It's because the Amazon trucks are not refrigerated, and they said that's why there was mold and mildew in their in their bottles. But the store I bought this from, these were not in the refrigerated section. These were just sitting on the regular, you know, room temperature shelf next to the other waters. So it doesn't really make sense that, um, you know, a non-refrigerated truck would cause mold or mildew. If it's sealed inside of a bottle, it shouldn't really cause mold or mildew from transporting it. The lemon one has <clears throat> less calories and um, less carbs also. So it's a thumbs up for that. Uh, the pomegranate one they might have stopped selling this <clears throat> because I didn't see the pomegranate one on their website. It says they also have a ginger and like a coffee flavored water on their website, <clears throat> but I didn't see the pomegranate one. So maybe like this is expired because maybe it's just an old batch that they're just trying to get rid of or something. And maybe that explains why the label is different. It's just because they're not making it anymore. I don't really know. The labels are slightly different. Like this one has a larger logo pomegranate one has a larger logo <clears throat> so maybe i don't know i'm just making stuff up maybe they stop selling it i don't know so anyway my personal preference is the lemon one this really just comes down to my own like opinion my own like subjective view of it i think the lemon one tastes better because i like lemon i don't really like pomegranate so the lemon is moving on to the next round and because this is John drinks water, uh, I drink, you know, water in every episode, and I don't want someone to say this is a fake episode because it's not really water, so I'm going to drink a normal bottle of water. Alright, there you go. That's it for this episode. Hopefully, you guys get to see this episode. 
I actually shot an episode earlier today. I was reviewing BLK water and this Fred water. And I shot the whole episode. I shot the whole review. Some funny stuff happened. Like I did a, I did a flip of the bottle. I accidentally knocked over my uh, my water pitcher. Water went all over the ground during the review. And it was a good review. <laughs> and then my SD card had an had an error. Like I pulled out the SD card from the camera too early before it was done saving the file. So I lost the whole episode. The, whole, the file was corrupt. So <laughs> um, you guys are going to have to wait for my Fred Water and BLK Water review. Uh, because I have to go back to the store and buy, you know, new waters. <laughs> I have to make a special trip. <laughs> Just so I can do that review. Um, so what do, you, yeah, what do you guys think of this, uh, this spinning camera? I, I did this when I was drinking the water. So what I did is it's, uh, set up on a fan above me. I got this little button... I, I've been using this for my, my daily videos sometimes, and I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, and the cool thing is, it's like, it's out of my way, because the, the camera just sits here when I'm not using it, and it's like, out of my way. It's I set up a ceiling fan. I bought that ceiling fan just for doing videos. And there's one blade going that way, and then a tripod that goes like straight down. But it's cool because I can like stand up, and I don't bump the tripod, I don't bump the camera at all. And it might be something I just, you know, keep around for a while. Um, and it's you know, pretty good setup, and it's cool. The fan is tilted that way, so. It's natural stopping position is right in front of me. So it's a good setup. And I just, you know, have a tripod hanging from my ceiling. <laughs> okay. So congratulations, Lemon Water. You're moving on to the next round. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.